Should you buy an EC in 2021, right? Hi everyone, Gainer here from Property Made Simple and this video is a shout out to uh, EC buyers, right? Who are probably exploring the opportunities to buy an EC, especially when, you know, it's supposedly to be a subsidized uh, property, right? But then you probably have some concerns because you, you hear a lot of the media saying that uh, now these days the ECs are getting more and more expensive because the land bid prices of those ECs are getting, you know, of course, much, much higher and higher. So you probably, you know, the other part, the other side of you is thinking whether should you buy an EC and the other side, you are really very concerned because the prices are very expensive. And this video is something that I really want to explore, right? And also share with you guys my personal opinion so that you guys at the end of the day can have a better decision. Okay, so what I'm going to share with you guys right now is some of the, you know, uh, past last year and also this year, what are the EC's uh, land bid prices, right? And, and so that you probably from there, you will understand what I mean. Right. So if we really go back to last year in March, there's this, uh, this place, Fendale Lane, which is uh, an EC that the land bid was actually, uh, the highest bid was actually $286.5 million, right? And uh, break even PSF is actually $950 per square foot. And this is actually the upcoming launch, which is called Park Green Reach, right? That, this land was actually bid last year in March, right? Following after that, there's another land, right? EC land that was bid in last year as well in November. That was actually in Yishun Avenue 9. And, and <coughs> the highest bid was actually $373.5 million. And, um, and the break-even PSF is actually $976 per square foot. So the fund deal, the, the break-even was actually $950 per square foot. And the issue, the break-even is actually $976 per square foot, right? And our really, really recent one, which has just happened this year in May 2021, which is at Tenga, right? That EC land was actually bid for $403 million, right? And the break-even, the PSF is actually $1,010 per square foot. So maybe let me just compare, uh, let you guys understand. $950 break-even per square foot, uh, in Fernvale, um, $976 per square foot break even for the Yishun and $1,010 uh, PSF break even for the Tenga. So, from this, you can understand that the land bid prices are getting more and more expensive, and that's why you probably hear from a lot of media or probably from a lot of your friends, your colleagues, or agents. Right, sharing with you that you know you shouldn't miss this opportunity to buy an EC because the land bid prices are getting more and more expensive, right? Which I personally also feel that this is true. But then again, I just want to share with you my personal opinions, right? Uh, because this is what we call a macro perspective, right? This is what I personally feel that is a macro perspective because to be honest, in Singapore, land is definitely getting to be more and more expensive, right? Uh, uh, you wouldn't see a land bid prices getting cheaper and cheaper along the way, right? It would definitely be more and more expensive. And that's why this is on a macro perspective because this is unavoidable and the land is getting more and more expensive. But then again, for you to make a decision whether should you buy an EC, we have to also think about the micro perspective. So what do I mean by micro perspective? Micro perspective means we have to look at that location, right? If the EC that is going to be launched is at this particular location, the question is, should we buy this EC at this price at this area, right? So how do we do a micro perspective kind of comparison, right? And that's where we have to see what are the surrounding projects that are currently available? What are the resale? What are the new ones? And then we are able to make a comparison and then from then on we can decide whether that would be a good purchase right and and i'm going to show to you one case study one example right just to let you understand what is a micro perspective 
comparison, right? So if you guys remember, there's this uh, EC that's called Heron Bay, right? So Heron Bay was actually launched in uh, what, 2012 if I'm not wrong or 13, somewhere around there. It was completed in 2015. So during then, uh, the, 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 the indicative price range price range was around $749 over dollars per square foot to $1,048 per square foot which on the average is $945 per square foot. So that is the question whether should you buy Heron Bay during that time, right? So if we use this micro perspective kind of comparison, you will see that what are the available projects for you to make a comparative um, to, to check whether is it a good buy. So during that time, there's also another project called Boathouse. That is a private property, right? It was also launched just probably one year before, probably a few months or one year before Heron Bay, right? And it was, you know, the com it was also completed somewhere around there. But during that time, the price for that, the PSF was around $983 per square foot to in between $1,097 per square foot, which makes an average of $1,033 per square foot. So on the other hand, we know that Boathouse is selling $1,033 per square foot, whereas for Heron Bay, it's selling at an um, average PSF of $945 per square foot. So with this comparative you will understand that for me to probably buy an EC at Heron Bay would probably make sense, right? Because uh, there is a private property that's just right beside and it is launched more expensive than what I'm going to buy for that particular EC, right? So this is what I mean by a micro perspective kind of analysis, right? So I hope this video probably will give you an uh, understanding, a concept, right? That uh, whether should you buy and EC moving forward, especially for the Park Green Reach and moving forward, there are a few ECs that are going to be launched. And so I think you probably have to be a little bit more careful, do your analysis, do your understanding, and then from then on, you make a decision whether it's better to buy or actually to, 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 to just stay put, right? So just, just, just remember this, whatever the case, whatever the media is sharing, what they are probably looking is on the macro perspective, especially when they share with you guys that the land bid prices are getting more and more expensive. But having said that, you also have to take a micro perspective analysis to look deeper and understand whether should you make a purchase. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video is really beneficial for you. And if you find that this is good, just help me to like, you know, subscribe and share. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.